Hello everyone, welcome to another video after a very, very, very long absence. I am Rider of Dinosaurs. Today we'll be looking at a video by CC from New York, you know, Westchester County. Let's get started. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris from New York, uh, Westchester County. It's uh, 428. 2023. It's a Friday. I like to give you something to think about on a Friday, just in case if I'm unable to uh, uh, put a video out over the weekend. But something tells me I think I might. Wife's out of the house, huh? He got it. He got the joke. You know, I want you to think about a couple things here. Um, I want to start off with the sun and the moon, okay? Okay. Because these are objects that we see every day. During the daytime, during the nighttime. You know, we can't really see the sun at night. Unless, of course, you're in the Arctic or the Antarctic. But, yeah, you might want to think about that. Oh, wait a minute. It's you, isn't it? Sorry. Continue. Okay. We're told that one's reflecting light off of the other one, which is absolutely impossible because if, if everything was real and hunky-dory in the Walt Disney World, they like to explain our children, uh, those astronauts would probably fry on the moon. For once, we agree. <laughs> Jesus, that gave me chills. Speaking of, what could they have had that would insulate and refrigerate them from the heat? I guess we'll never know. In, in case you didn't get that, that, that was satire. So it was insulation and a refrigeration suit, like you can see there in the picture. You know, I just want to be sure that you get that what I said was sarcasm. Okay, because of the reflection of the sun. What? Um, did, did, did I miss something? What are you saying? Uh, let, let, let me go back a couple of seconds on the video just to make sure we're getting the full context. Just a few seconds. Uh, those astronauts would probably fry on the moon, okay, because of the reflection of the sun. And they would never be able to take any pictures up there, nonetheless. Uh, the exposure would just be off the wall. It off the roof. The expression is off the roof. Not the wall. It's too white. It brightens the entire sky at night. The moon, that is. Uh, you know, when it's full. Honest question. Was I away for too long, or did your brain just give up on you? There is no relationship between the sun and the moon, okay? You know, we've, we've done the experiments. The moon projects cold, okay? I've always been told not to do this getting down to their level because they'll beat you with the experience. It's nonsensical, but it sets his level. So please forgive me for what I'm about to say. CC, this question is for you. If the moon projects cold, why are there hot summer nights? But I want to get into something else with you today. I've spoken about that, and it's a terrific topic to discuss and bring up with a scientist. And, and let's see his uh, answer for that. You know, I'm sure he'll come up with something. Get on with it. They always do, but they never makes any sense. Yes, get on with it. Because when you make shit up, you can't explain it. Okay, just like black matter. <laughs> they can't explain it, so they make it up. It's bullshit. You understand that? There you go. Okay. There is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is beyond light and shadow, beyond science and superstition. And it lies in the pit of man's fears and at the summit of its knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. This is an area that you're about to enter and we call it the stupid zone. I think the moon is a projection and the sun is a reflection, okay? Okay. And that would explain the sun flares that you can see once in a while during the eclipse, okay? Okay. Um, 
The reason why I believe the moon's a projection is because it's projecting cold light. Okay, the reason why I believe the sun is a reflection coming from somewhere else, possibly being magnified, is because of the heat and because of the supposed sun flares and the electricity that you get in the morning, you know, when this comes closer to you and goes away from you or further away from you. Because that's what the sun does. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. And may God have mercy on your soul. Okay, so let's take a look at that. All right, so if one is um, a, re a, re a reflection, okay, and the other one is a projection, all right, how could you explain the eclipse? Don't you just love when people make up crap and then ask themselves questions to explain said crap they just said and fail miserably at it? Just watch. Interesting point. Very good point. I like it when people ask that question because the eclipse actually proves the flat earth and it also proves many other things too. Baloney! But, okay, so when, when one, uh, when the moon goes over the sun, supposedly it covers it, okay? Shouldn't you, why? And this, ladies and gentlemen, is when CeCe's brain committed suicide. No, I did not do some clever editing to make him say that. He said it in your original video. Shouldn't you, why? Yeah, okay, shouldn't you be able to see the front of the moon? Now that the brain has committed suicide, you'll see, you'll see, hold on to your hats, folks. That's right, the front of the moon. It goes without saying that there is no front of the moon, it's a sphere, but I think, well, I know he means the face that's always facing Earth. But let's continue. Because of the reflection that's coming back from Earth. Because it should be bright. The shadow's only 70 miles lo uh, large. Wide, CC. 70 miles wide. To try to understand the next bit, I'm going to create a visual aid of what he's saying. There should be a reflection, a reflection from the moon of light so you can see the front of the moon while it's eclipsing the sun. So, what he just said was this. He thinks that based on our model, there should be a reflection of light from the moon that would allow us to see the quote-unquote front of the moon. Everyone got that? Okay, but you can't. You can't see that. It's like a disc. It's like an imaginary thing. And that's exactly what it is. They call it the black sun. You can't see it. It's up there. Just like you can't hear the tones from a dog whistle. What just happened? Well, there's a lot of things we can't see up there that the creator made. Like there's a lot of things down here that we can't see. Your brain is a good example. He made your, he or she, whoever it may be, made your eyes, made your body, made everything work, programmed everything for you. I have a complaint to make. Okay. That's what the creator's done. You don't think the creator is going to make something that's a tangible object up there that we can go up and, 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 and uh, you know, hurt it or do something to it or, or blow up or something like that. No. You have no brain. No, that's why I believe the sun is uh, a projection. I mean, a reflection. Okay. Now, the moon, on the other hand, is another thing you can never get to. See, they've already tried to do this. You see, I'm sure with all the money that they, they take in, 52 million or whatever, well, let's put inflation now, it's got to be like $90 million a day. It's 74, actually, out of 27 billion budget. They've shot a rocket toward the moon and it keeps getting there and but the moon's going further and further away the rocket's getting closer and closer and the moon keeps going further and further away just like every flat earther's goalpost when they ask for evidence we give them and then they move the goalpost again and again and again 
and again. And then bam, it hits the dome. Explosion. Oh, well, there goes your moon. <laughs> you see, that's the beauty of it. This, this, this is how much fun it is. Because what, 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 what Flat Earthers and what we've done, if we, we've condensed the universe that has billions and trillions and quadrillions and, and zillions and whatever the fuck number they can come up with and, and make up, <laughs> they'll tell you, is the size of, and we've condensed it down to something that is understandable. See, see, even if we were to reduce it to the size of a pea, your poor brain, your poor dead brain would never understand it. And that's the problem. And this is what I have for you today. Next, he goes on a well-known rant about NASA, CGI, fake everything, blah, blah, blah. And then he goes on another rant. This time is a transphobic one. So I thought I should stop here. Um, let's not go to the transphobic side. Thank you for watching. And I hope you to see you on my next video.